Tamaduni is all about having good staffs. Tomodoko Skele is a very good dedication song. Kuroka Kwa, the one and only. Anamita Zahara, Ama Zahara. Just call it whatever. You know, African names sometimes say. I'll ask Chiel, you'll see. African names are African names. Yeah, Karibu Nisara, Kwenye Tokota Live. Yeah, Utamaduni Express. Give me the island in Joela Yule Yule. Utamaduni Express. Tunafanya hivi Monday to Friday. And tunakisha kwamba everything goes good, loud and clear. I uh, took a power by Ecosana Hub. Ecosana Hub is a place that you can board a place. Now, Kaja Hub, Okaka, Zuri, Kapisa, where we come on Africa Mashariki, Okapata Office, Yako, so Kilam to an always like a big office here. Yeah, Koyo, by saying that, no Kalisha Sana Hub, Ecosana Hub, it is a corner of an office Yako, who can enjoy the good moments. Uh, good morning, Chief. Morning. How's How it are you? I'm good, thanks, Alan. Uh huh. Long time no see, I know. I know. It's been a while. <laughs> been a very long while. Karim Sano, I'm going to talk next first. Santana. Uh, when I freak out, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. What is Chi? Chi. What is Chi? Chi is actually my God-given name. It comes from my, it comes from my God-given name. Um, okay. It comes from um, Aichi Ali. Okay. I I I Okay, my earphones are not speaking well. Ah, I eat chili. All right. And the surname is? Uh, Temu. Temu. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are Temu is Kibantu. I have I eat chili. All right. So it is quite a back of Kamua who decide to uh, to remain with Chi. Yeah, ni si oni mekwa na kanje na watu mekwa na like they thought it was hard. Ah, so it's all cheese. They were kind of easy to. So cheese was easy, yeah, easy to pick up on. Ah, it sticks with you, right? I feel like it brought the energy to me. No, good, very good. So chitem. Ah, mtoa kita ya kunywa. What's the poetic life? Will you become an artist? What What would you say? I mean, that's a hard one. What do you mean by what's the poetic life? Like, yeah, then how is how is one supposed to be, to opt or come up to an a poetic artist mm. or just how to write the songs and all that? So I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, to opt to be an artist is not. I feel like it's not always something that you choose. Sometimes it chooses you, but you you know because it's driven by passion. I think mm. you don't have passion for it then you don't get very far with it. Like, it's all well being up in your head, but passion is what really drives, right? Um, and once you get from there, the passion also moves you to learn more about the industry, to figure out how the best way to write is, to figure out what your sound is, and that helps you build you up into the character and the person that you become in the art field, right? Okay, so it's so much of stuff. Yeah. But the one thing that I, I know, you need to have a passion or a commitment Oh, definitely commitment as well. I think, you know, if you have passion, you yeah, hopefully it's going to lead you to have the commitment. All right. Because it's it's not easy, and you know, it's it's most of the things about turning up and continuing to choose to learn. So that takes commitment, right? Hmm. Kabisa. Okay. So, uh, how, for how long have you been doing music, or? Oh, I've been doing music for a long time. Um, probably it's like twelve years. I've been doing music. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's so good. I'm so glad that I met you the first time in uh, 2017. Yeah. And that was the musician boot camp. That was great. And that was so great, yeah. And um, I want you to, like, to pass by the memories. Uh, what was the experience? I mean, it was people who were really, um, like, I mean, there was Lizzie Zangala there, Mandela, they, they really, like, helped us through. Um, uh, just knowing who we were as artists and how to conduct ourselves. I loved learning about how to be on stage because it was the one thing that I think I'm definitely not, mm. you know, that I find that I love performing live. And so how to take it to the next level, like the stories you create, the way you talk to the audience, that all is like really stuck to me. And it's something that I continuously need to like learn and impact myself on. Mm -hmm. But um, there was so many great people as well because it was all the different people from around East Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I made that song that was... Chi <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that. I had a Ugandan too. His name was Haka Muchiga. Mm. Do you remember the name of your colleague? Um, <laughs> it's tricky. Don't do that to me. <laughs> She's listening right now. I know. To www.minutemedia.co.uk. Oh. <laughs> she is teaching you right now live. Oh, right. but like I remember her energy and mm, her the the, smile and her mind. What mind's. I remember is the, that teacher from the Saudi Academy from Kenya and Ambassador Mandela. Yeah. Those guys were all very good mentors. They were very good mentors and they really did push. Like uh, like they're trying to get the best out of everyone. Yeah, sure. Great. So, I uh, think mm -hmm. Sisi ni mmoja kati ya vijana wachache ambao tumeweza kupata bahati kama hiyo. Ndio. But you know, uh mifumo ya nchi zetu hizi za Afrika Mashariki Haijaweza bado kuwa na strong incubators for raising up new artists and new upcoming artists and all that are talented. Tunakuwa mawapi. You've been around the world. I mean, it's hard to say what like mm. why I don't think it's that we can't. Mm. I, I do think there is um a selfish nature to um artists here. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it. Yeah. But um, you know, the commitment doesn't just come from the person who wants to be an artist, it also comes from the people around them, the people who would want to mentor them, the people who want to create these spaces who have the knowledge and the ability to. And obviously that takes a lot of time from anyone, I understand and think, mm -hmm. but, um, I, but even in people on the same level, I, don't, I think there could be more support of each other, and more support in creating spaces that um, people can grow mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, because we, we need to, to emphasize on this because as long as oh as we go, mm -hmm. we are losing some new talents. Mm -hmm. Because hearing some old stuff, no creativity. Why? There are people that are doing some good music and yeah. still in streets. They have empowerment, they're not exposed enough. I mean there's also like, you know, here there's a lot of artists that have to manage themselves. It's not easy to be able to create and manage yourself. Also, where do you start by managing yourself? Do you know how, do you know what your rights are as an artist? Do you know are you supposed to be doing contracts? Do you know what those are? These things are also little things that go into growing you and making you able to like move up and up in this industry. And if there's no one there to show you and you have to figure it out yourself, you're not always gonna know the right way, are you? So yeah. you know, we do need more spaces in which we don't just separate artists, but we put artists with things like lawyers and business people and they they can work together to build a network of what it actually means to be in an in industry that supports the arts. Okay, so good. So, all these tasks are leading us back to commitment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what comes around goes around. Goes, the yeah. more input you make, the, the, the more you convince someone to invest on your music, yeah. uh, the more you, you, you in, keep emphasizing your government to support you or anyways on any house. Because uh, I know Tanzania, yeah. East Africa, Mashariki got a lot of talent. It's got a lot of talent. And you know, that talent brings in a lot. I mean, in terms of the changing of society, helping things become untaboo. Um, and you know, also, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, the creative economy is really big when you when you put the money into the arts the arts also gives back that money to the communities and society all right so, so i i asked you to uh, choose only three songs of your best oh. uh, so which one are we starting with and what's the story behind that okay um i mean today is the day of the widow so mm. i wanted something for um that empowered uh, um, that said, you know, we don't need to be taken back by labels and things and yeah. women doing it for themselves. So the first one is going to be called, is called Women. Women. <laughs> yeah, and it's an acoustic such one. Alright, good, good, good one. When I we are going to hear how Chi, on the first time I've been doing the online media, he, the Utamaroon Express, me, and I'm Joel in Africa, and I'm going to be tired. Same level, that's it. Oh, 
home that said you want you to see me without the label and the script yeah uh oh 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 that's why I stand tall I stand bold speak my mind and not what I've been told I stand tall I stand bold with my women with my women It's all a game, it's all a game The will lose and turn to you for the blame No, 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 no Will you just sit there one nil above the rest? Oh, yeah Telling us how to feel and think and how to dress I love your magazine You feel on TV screens When we add on Tell me the experts, Mr. Pisa. Tell me the experts. And all those little girls with fake Barbie dolls. Don't you think that they deserve to have it all? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you think? Don't you think? And now what I've been told oh, oh. I stand tall I stand bold With my women With my women mm. So you deserve to stand tall eh? yeah. You guys are standing tall And I like it the way we are right now In Africa, I'm sure we can all Entire word, it's equal for all that eh? This we're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're trying to get there. No, no, you guys are getting there. Yeah. We have Mama Samia. Oh, it's of course you got Mama Samia. Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are already there. We're, yeah, we're yeah, the women empowerment is so real good movement. Yeah, and it's going on. No, it's going on and it's great. And I think you know that um, when we have people like Mama Samia and like these other women at the top that we can look up look up to it mm. doesn't necessarily mean that we're there yet it means mm. someone's broken through and now we have someone that these younger women and girls can look up to and actually fight more for it to actually get there all across the board mm. not just that one person getting that them. is so good uh, Chi, in your in your lifetime career have you ever planned to be a politician or <laughs> oh no <laughs> Why? This is not me. In me, you, I, I just know, want to make the songs. You want to be like Mama Sonia, excellent. <laughs> I just want to make the songs. You know, maybe advocate for the arts, definitely. Yeah. Um, but to go full on into politics, I think mm. that'd be scary. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's it's in well, me. I, think I would love to congratulate, uh, congratulate the Tanzanian government mm. by putting these district commissioners that are, if you look, seventy percent or eighty percent. Are from the the journalism uh, journalism industry mm -hmm. and uh, in the entertainment industry, many mm -hmm. named the musicians yeah. and, uh, and uh, uh, actors. Yeah, actors. Yeah, actors. You see, that will infuse some stars, you know, because I believe what makes a side goes is art. Yeah, yeah art is everything. So we are bumping on the other song. Mm -hmm. what, is, what, what shall we go for it? Uh, this track is called Dirty. Mm. <laughs> Um, I, I wrote this one quite a while ago, it's, it's an old one I'm pulling up for this um, and it's just about how I see some of the nightlife around these areas. Mm. Um, you know, maybe my ideas have changed since then, but I still enjoy the track, it's fun. Alright, so the track goes by the name Dirty. Yeah. What is Dirty? The nights and everything, right? <laughs> the lies we tell ourselves at night. <laughs> Alright, the, oh, the lies we tell each other. Alright. Everything is dirty. Let's jump on with it. He knew to my next first three part of skills and me a competia of the way to a WW radio to see old teas that don't go nowhere. We got Chi Tam in the house. Hey hey and she is rocking and roll. Now, they were standing around and just acting 
from Africa Mashariki. Uh-huh. Is this Dada an African necessity? Hey. I'm telling you she is a Tanzanian. Yes. This jam is so good. Thank you. This jam is so good. Like so it reminds me it's got 80s 80s vibes and you know Yeah, like I love the like, the big band band feel as well cuz I love live music, right? So yeah. I love to get a little bit of piano and then that piano is real jazzy. Like, oh. like, I mean Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, how many or oh, which instruments do you play? I play the guitar, and I mean, I I say I used to play the piano because I hardly pick it up these days. Um, uh, but yeah, I play the big yeah, guitar and piano, so and I guess I play my vocal cords. Okay, <laughs> that's so good for for a good artist. Yeah. Okay, I'm Sanya, and you don't know how to play any instrument. Mm. How 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 productive will you be? No, you're still productive. I don't think you need to be able to play an instrument to be a good like singer or anything but I do think it helps in just like being able to really listen and understand mm-hmm. like and sometimes taps, it yeah exactly melodies, you, know? you know it helps with the melodies it helps with just better understanding music as a language I think when you play an instrument um, but there's no reason to say that you can't be a good one without it mm-hmm. so I've been uh, researching and seeing in social medias you're having something that is called Chi and Friends yes what is all about it Hachi and Friends is a platform just to um, that like young musicians, poets, and comedians, and we've had other people come and showcase their talents and things. So um, it started um, as like a curated open mic, and I just like to see it grow. But now we've got a little team together. We're doing a bit more events, um, trying to also like teach the artists how to manage themselves or you know get better in their fields in little ways that we can. So. It's also like a growing, th- like it's it's not just a platform to showcase, it's a platform to grow from. Mm. And for one to join or to just have a session with you guys, yeah. what's oh. the procedure? So normally if you follow um, my Instagram page at chi underscore and underscore friends, there is normally a call to action looking for musicians and poets. Um, probably midway through the month is normally when I do it mm. um, and then different artists will bring in the, like give me their stage name and they'll send in like clips of what they do if it's poetry if it's music and then we get to like choose some 
from there and then like join the fam bam and I think once you're part of the fam bam it's you tend to come back anyway and mm. you know grow with the whole with everyone else so do, do you keep, do you guys keep the database or then oh yeah I got a da database of all, all like, the okay, artists that have been on no. there someday yeah. one day you'll be oh I need this I won't say it <laughs> <laughs> but I bet so as we are winding up mm -hmm. well, we are having uh, one song left mm -hmm. and I think we're playing it and then after that we'll have some few words okay. to wind up the session he knew to learn this first when I enjoy to see the cheek in the house hey. yeah the vibing is all up and we ensure you that we'll give you a direct link for her good music so you keep on supporting this talent thank you Chi. yes what's the third Okay, Burn. the third one is um, Break the Bells. Mm. I actually did this track for um, the Lyricist Lounge. I'm pretty sure you know about the Lyricist Lounge. Mm -hmm. It's been around for a while. So they did a compilation album with different artists who've been through the lounge. And I like luckily and I'm honored to be part of that. So this is where Break the Bells came from. Um, and I hope everyone enjoys. Oh. Shout out to Jen from the lounge for oh. setting up a platform before I could even set up She and Friends. Oh, yeah. Good. This goes to all. Platformers. We need platforms to practice mm -hmm. things and to practice our music. <laughs> Tamaduni experts, or a sekiliza, or Tamaduni experts, or a sekiliza, or Tamaduni experts. To be, I never wanted to be home. Oh, well, I'm sinking, but this past keeps on dragging me down. I need to crack through the water, need to break the bowels of the ocean. Yeah. Yes, my African Shariki, the one and only. Chi. 
how I wish how I wish one of you should reach here by on the lucky side of the table with your express and bio in a bye bye for sasa lakini tumekuwa na chi kwa muda wa dakika zisizopungua 20 mpaka 25 na of course mko productive sana eh amesema tunakubaliana na wote kwa sababu tunazungumza lugha moja ya muziki kwamba wewe kama mwana muziki unahitaji kitu kimoja tu have that in a in a commitment and everything will flow you have the passion you're lazy go down uh you have to man up and stand it out so chief generally what's your music patrols muziki wako una ubiri kitu gani what the i listen to it that i play what kind of music do you listen to that i love for through that what music that you send to your audience i mean i love listening to like all types of music i mean i'm not going to lie when i say all types i'm mm -hmm. i'm not the biggest country fan or like heavy metal fan but um i mean the loves of my life are stuff like um r&b and um what do you call it um obviously love some motown um i love new soul the eric vidus the just scots the chanel monet's that mm. lifts me up um So that's my vibe that I love but I I really listen to quite a lot of music um yeah. and different genres and things. Um yeah. as for my own stuff, I guess it still stays on that sort of like blues and an R&B vibe. Yeah. Some of those indie notes in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. Good stuff so cool. So, Chi, how do we like, generally find you on uh social media platforms and that where do we get to listen oh, oh, this good 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 so yeah. on on uh, <laughs> instagram you can find me at chi.temu that's c h i t e m u mm -hmm. um and on twitter you can find me at chi underscore temu mm -hmm. um and yeah on facebook as well you should find me at facebook.com forward slash chi uh temu music Good. So, yeah, that's where you find me. That's so good. Uh Spotify is an all these platforms. Like yes, actually yes, but you can find me on Spotify, Apple, um these are under Chi Tamu. Yeah. No, C H I T E M U. That's so good. That is. Right. Yeah, I keep on saying to my fellow South Africans, simplicity is the key. Just follow me at Alan Soul underscore MC 101 on all the deal platforms uh, tunasema sana sana kwa ambao mme uh, tupa muda wako uh, na kutusikiliza kupitia Utamaron Express I'll be reading through your comments so kuna tutaendelea kwa jibu kupitia social media zetu chi amechasema za kwake CC on all the platforms na kupitia kama kama midundo also online let's digitalize the world ulimwengu umebadilika sana maisha sasa yako digitali so make sure you keep yourself updated and upgraded na your life keep on going healthy mpaka uh, wakati mwingine mimi ni Anjela sana sana wakati wa tokout live unafuata chia sana sana thank you so much hi sana sana na uh, sorry africa mashariki zaidi kuendelea uh, something so went to end mzansi your squad This is a new jab from him yo. Karibuni sana na hii ni Utamaduni Express. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah, we done. Okay, okay. Unasikiliza Mipundo Radio. We have a photo here. W dot Mipundo Radio. Yeah. A photo where? Yeah, got him. Uh